Okay, so yesterday, I got a text from an old friend. I've known this person for 14 years. We grew up together. Okay, I'm 30. So 14 years is my adult life, plus some. Okay, and in the text message, they've announced that they don't want to be friends anymore. Their reasons are theirs. I'll respect that. We didn't have a falling out. There was no argument. There's no major disagreement. We didn't wrong each other. They just don't believe that my values and interests align with theirs. Okay. And they don't want to pursue a friendship anymore. Okay. Well, damn. Like what, what do you even say to that? So I told him it makes me very sad and I hope he's well. And we wished each other, you know, best of luck in our endeavors. And we've gone our separate ways. Now, <laughs> I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday. And the only reason I'm able to feel better today is because I allowed myself to grieve, to mourn, to feel crappy, to feel Oh, bad. <laughs> okay. Morning feels like nausea in your heart. It feels like a, like pain in this region. It's like a, oh, like a terrible feeling that you can't quite exorcise. Like you can't get rid of. Crying helps. I was texting someone about it. And as I was explaining what was going on, it broke down middle of the work day. Luckily I was, I was like alone in some closet over that way, but <laughs> it's like a, like a garage. I wasn't actually in the closet crying that came later in the day, <laughs> but I broke down. I just started crying. I don't not want to be friends with this person. I have no idea why we're not friends anymore, but I'm going to respect their wishes because in a way I agree. We do disagree on, on many things, but I wouldn't go about it the same way that they did. Why wouldn't we just talk it through if we were like problematic towards each other, if we were causing each other drama, if we're causing each other stress? Why don't you work through that? I don't know. That's not how they function. Fair. And they asked me to not contact them anymore. Fair. Have a good life. But the way... The way to really get through those kinds of things is you have to let yourself be sad. You have to let yourself grieve and let go. It, friendship breakups isn't something that people really ever talk about. And here in America, we're like, yeah, it's friendship. We're going to last for life. We're going to be friends forever. Maybe. Maybe. Most likely not. And... That's a hard reality to accept. That's it's hard to do. It's let go of people. I, I, as you may or may not know, my wife and I aren't drinking this year, and I, I really wanted a beer. I really could have used a beer yesterday, and I, I didn't. I stayed sober all day. And I cried when I needed to cry, which was really hard. I was numb all day until I started to send that text, and it just like it punched me in the face. I was like, oh, hi, cool. I'm gonna cry now at work. Thank goodness no one came in. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big deal. I would have been like, yeah, there's some stuff going on and you know, drive by and gone away. But I don't know. I If I'm going to cry, I want to do it alone. Like, I don't, don't look at me. Let me go through this myself. <laughs> and, and that happened multiple times yesterday. Like if I, if I've got to go cry, I'm not going to, Stop it. Unless it's like super inappropriate. I'm like mid freeway and you know, many people will die because I can't see within reason. But I allowed myself to feel those emotions of really crappy sadness. I allowed myself to, to mourn our friendship, to grieve over the loss of a friend. And that helped so much. That was absolutely necessary. Didn't get intoxicated. I allowed myself to cry. I talked about it. 
And today feels so much better. So much better. I'm still not happy about it. I'm not like, yeah, a friend and I aren't friends anymore. Whatever. That is that is the reality as of now. Okay. I don't like it. But I'm okay with it. And I don't feel even remotely as crappy as I did yesterday. Like the pain in my chest is gone. When I think about it, it's like a, a very mild heaviness now. And over time, that'll get less and less. I'll feel better and better because when I feel bad, when I feel those tuggings of grief, I'll allow myself to grieve. And I think that's the trick. That's, that's the trick to it. If you've got some kind of issue in your life, if you've got something weighing you down, an anchor of negativity, you have to feel it, express it, move through it. You have to let it go. And the only way to do that is to go through it. The only way to do that is to let it out. So that's what helped me in letting go of a friendship, in healing from that process. I know it's early. I know more healing is going to have to be done. I know I'm not just like over it. Like, later, friend. Ha <laughs> ha. On to my life. No. No. I, I've known this person for my whole life is how I consider it. So it's, it's not easy letting go. But right now, it's necessary. So that's that. How do you deal with grief? What else do you do to help you work through the process? And whatever grief you're going through, I, I hope it... Uh, I hope it goes well for you. And you know what I mean? Like, I, I hope you're able to go through it without any self-harm, without too much struggle. <laughs> I was going to say without too much pain, but isn't that what it is? It's pain that you're working through. So like, hopefully you can do it in a healthy way and it passes as quickly as possible. Have a good day. Hang in there. <sighs> okay, back to life. Then if I may.